What's up guys, JR Raymond here. Welcome back to Life's Traction Control. Today, we're gonna talk about hand positions, how to manipulate the ball, and how to get a different ball roll on your bowling ball instead of just using that same A release over and over again. So stay tuned. Hey guys, real quick, if you like these videos, please make sure to subscribe and like and hit that bell so you get notifications on every new video that I have coming out. Uh, and if you're looking for lessons and you're in the Metro Detroit area or even willing to travel over here, just hit me up. Go ahead and send me an email over at lifestractioncontroljr at gmail.com and we'll set up a lesson for you. But if you can't make the trip out here, just head over to www.patreon slash control, and you can get online virtual lessons to where you send me a video and I'm gonna analyze that video and send it back. Now there's different tiers for that that you can sign up for. So go make sure you check that out and sign up. And uh, I appreciate everybody's support. Thank you for watching. All right, guys, welcome back. So we're gonna to talk today a little bit about hand positions and when to use them. Uh, I like to teach the clock. I like to teach where your thumb exits to help you to understand how you can manipulate the ball by just simply thinking about where your thumb exits the ball uh, to create different types of rotation. So when we're on the lanes and we're playing straighter, we try to have more of a roll, more end over end. And as we start to move our feet to the left, or for left-handers moving our feet to the right, we try to uh, get our ball to spin on the side a little bit more to help it to continue or to help it to curve a little bit more down lane. So the way I do this is by teaching the clock. So if I'm gonna roll the ball dead end over end or straight forward, uh, I've got tape on the ball so you can see the roll. I would actually, I would try to get my thumb to finish right at 12 or, or noon, whatever you wanna call it and you get it to roll just end over end, just like that, and get the ball to just roll straight, never actually see friction. Now, you're never really gonna use that type of a release, but that's just an extreme example to get you to understand where you're at with your thumb release. So if that's at 12, now if I wanna play straighter and I wanna just give it just a pinch of side roll, I'm gonna try to think of my thumb exiting at about 11 o'clock. So if I do that, Okay, so that one rotates just a little bit and you can see it kind of pick up at the very last second and uh, give it just a little bit of curve. So now as I move my feet left, I have to try and get my hand to come around it just a little bit more. So now let's think if I'm gonna try and exit at 10 o'clock as I'm moving further left and see what the ball does. Good rotation, 10 pin. So now how do we get the 10 pin out? So we have to change our release just a little bit to make that a bit stronger. So now instead of the 10 o'clock, maybe we go to like nine o'clock or nine, uh, in between nine and 10 to try to make it just a pinch stronger down lane and see if we can't get the 10 pin out. Let's see what happens. Pay attention to the ball roll in the tape. Got the 10 out, but it was a little bit high. It started to creep up on me. But that's that gives you the general idea. That makes you understand that where you exit the ball with your thumb going this way, if this is a clock right here and you're thinking about where your thumb exits, you can manipulate the ball more than you know. So if you have trouble changing your ball roll and you're just getting there and you're leaving 10 pin after 10 pin and you need to make a small change, maybe a ball change isn't the right move because I know the older folk are gonna love this video because uh, this teaches you to manipulate and change your ball motion based on your hand rather than just always going to, I gotta change balls, I gotta change balls. Sometimes ball changes aren't the right move. Sometimes you just need to change your roll just a pinch to be able to change your ball reaction and get you to go from leaving four or five 10 pins a game to only leaving maybe one or two. So 
getting that extra two or three strikes a game boosts your score immensely. Like that's a crazy amount of score to add, especially if they're in, in a row, if they're in strings. So remember this, we're gonna slow this down. I'm gonna back up a little bit so you can see these ball rolls, see the three different types of ball rolls. But before we go, make sure you remember the clock. Think about it, go practice it. Let me know what you think. Let me know if it works for you. Um, and just remember, um, that everybody's different. So whatever release works for you isn't gonna work for the next person. You have to figure out exactly what works for you. So until next time guys, thank you and we will see you guys later.